Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm KJ. This is the second week for Chai Day Friday, which is the name that we came up with. We is me and you guys. Um, so let's get into it. Today's tea is baked apple chai from David's Tea. It's an herbal tea. And the reason for this selection, oh no, I forgot to show you guys my pumpkin. This is the pumpkin. <laughs> So the reason for this is because it's 8.30 at night. Um, I didn't really have a lot of time in the day to do it. I did, but it was like such a nice day. It was 77 degrees here. And so I was out frolicking, having picnics. Anyway, um, so let's talk about this tea. Baked apple chai herbal tea from David's Tea. The ingredients include apple, figs, cinnamon, star anise, chicory, cardamom, cloves, black pepper, and natural apple and spice flavoring mm -hmm. um, and then the cup that we're trying it in is the plum nordic mug it's textured from david's tea i think like 2018 maybe one year before that i can't remember and it steeps up oh geez about this color um so let's talk about it um when you first open the bag it smells primarily of star anise which is like a no-go for me and i was very very nervous I thought the review would be pretty short based on that alone. Um, but when you smell it, it smells more like apple and it smells more like cinnamon. Um, and the anise just kind of blends and it works. So let's taste it. Okay. So it's actually, it's actually kind of nice. Um, the apples first. Thank God it's first in the ingredients. <laughs> um, you get the cinnamon. I don't really get the fig. I don't go around smelling or eating figs regularly, but I'm guessing it's adding just like another dimension of flavor and also probably a little bit of sweetness. Um, the black pepper is probably there. It's a little bit spicy. But I don't know if I can isolate like the cardamom or the clove. Maybe I can. I don't know. You know when you like drink chai after chai after chai and it's just like, they all taste spicy. This this is what that is. Um, so it's really good hot. This cup is unsweetened. I was like totally prepared to drop some rock sugar in there, but I don't really need to. Um, I would say it's, it's hard to enjoy when it's piping hot because you can't really isolate those flavors that you so want to crave in this cup of tea. As it cools, so I'm guessing now this is like maybe one, 175 degrees from 212. Um, it's much easier and much more pleasant to drink. So it's sweet on its own. It doesn't require sugar. Um, and I think it would be really, really good ice, but you would have to make a really concentrated batch of tea um, for it to work. So comments about this tea, it's chunky guys. It is chunky. So there's like just huge pieces of this, this tea. And I showed you guys like during the ingredients uh, kind of like pop away, but like it's just all pieces. Um, and that makes sense. It's an herbal sort of tisane. It's just pieces of fruit. But I imagine that if you like this tea and you wanna make it iced or you wanna kind of make it a lot, you, you kind of have to do a lot So like, and the steeper, it's probably here. That's kind of a lot. Um, anyway, I was thinking, should I make this a latte? Cause you know, when I think chai, I think, oh, latte, duh. But no, I would not add milk to this. No, I don't think that I would. Um, it doesn't have anything that would make the milk curdle per se, but I just don't, I, it, I just appreciate it like this. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get to the summary. If you open this bag and you have an aversion to star anise or licorice, you might get initially kind of turned away. But brew the cup, let it cool down just a little bit, and it's actually really good. No need to sweeten. If you think that you need to sweeten it, I would just wait um, and then see see what happens after your first couple of sips. Um, because I imagine, I feel like this this could get sickly sweet if you added some some sugar to it. 
Um, but even weirdly, there's like a bit of sediment at the bottom. Obviously, I cannot show you guys without spilling this tea all over me, but yeah, I don't know what that is. Spices or pepper? Okay, who knows? I'm rambling. Okay, happy Friday Friday. See you next week. <laughs>